If the measure of arc AC is equal to 80 degrees, what is the measure of angle ABC? Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog, and this is our third video of the topic circle. If you have not watched our first video, which is about related terms to circle, and our second video, which is about the relationship between central angle and its intercepted arc, please see the links below. It is very important that you watch them so that you would know the meaning of intercepted arc, central angle, inscribed angle, chords, radius, and other terms. And if you are new in this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So now let's go back to our activity and that is getting the measure of angle ABC, this one, and given the measure of arc AC which is 80 degrees, this one. So first of all, let us identify what is angle ABC, okay? If you try to recall our terms related to circle, okay, angle ABC is an inscribed angle, very good, because its vertex is in the circle or lies in the circle, okay? How about arc AC? Arc AC is a minor arc. Okay, very good. But how is it related to angle ABC? Okay, very good. Arc AC is its intercepted arc. Okay, so if we say intercepted arc, it is the arc eaten by the angle. That it is the arc or a portion of a circle cut by the angle. It is in the mouth of the angle, no? Okay, so our task says that we're going to look for the measure of angle A, B, C. Given the measure of arc A, C, which is 80 degrees. So how are we going to do that? I have here some examples to guide us how. Okay, I have here example number one and example number two. So let's Go first in example number one. So could you tell me an inscribed angle found in example number one? Okay, very good. Still angle A, B, C. How about its intercepted arc? What is the intercepted arc of angle A, B, C? That is arc A, C. Very good. So now let's go to the given. What is the measure of, of angle A, B, C? That is 25 degrees okay very good the measure of angle abc is 25 degrees how about the measure of arc ac the measure of arc ac is 50 degrees very good now let's go to the example number two could you tell me an inscribed angle found in example number two okay very good still the same that is angle a b c how about its measure its measure is 30 degrees okay how about its intercepted arc? Okay, the same letters. Okay, actually, you can have different letters, but in our example, it's just so happened that the letters being used are the same. Okay, its intercepted arc is arc AC. What do you think is the measure of arc AC? Remember, we have here a central angle AOC, which is 60 degrees. So the measure of arc AC is also 60 degrees. Okay, so meaning measure of arc AC here is equals to 60 degrees okay so let's observe this is our inscribed angle and its intercepted arc below how would you describe their measures okay in example one we have the arc which is 50 degrees and the angle which is 25 degrees in example number two its intercepted arc is 60 degrees and the angle measures 30 degrees so what observation can you see in their measurement Okay, very good. The angle, the inscribed angle, is equals to one half of the measure of its intercepted R. Okay, very good. So now, are we ready to solve for our activity? Okay, let's go back. So, since the measure of arc AC is 80 degrees, and our findings there said that the measure of the inscribed angle is one half. So what is one half of 80? One half of 80 is equals to 40. Very good. It's like 80 divided by 2. So the measure of angle ABC is equals to 40 degrees. Okay, very good. How about the measure of angle AOC? Is it also 40 degrees? No, because angle AOC is not an inscribed angle. This formula is only used when we are looking for the measure of an inscribed angle and if you try to recall the measure of central angle is just equal to its intercepted arc so meaning this is also 80 degrees okay 
So, what if our measure for angle ABC is 20? What is the measure of our arc here? That is 40. Okay, very good. Because again, our measure for the inscribed angle is one half of its arc. So, we will just, if the given is the inscribed angle, we will just multiply it by 2 to get the intercepted arc. Okay, so I hope you learned something in our video today. And if you have questions, comment down below. And if you want any topic in mathematics that you'd like me to discuss, comment down below as well. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. That's all. Bye-bye. Love lots. Mwah.